Jacob Bowles. Today we're going to be looking at a Prime 1 statue. Yes, again, the Prime 1 line because I love the Prime 1 line in Aliens. I love the Prime 1 line in Predator. I love the Prime 1 line in Lord of the Rings. I love the Prime 1 line in Batman, Joker. They got some stuff going for them, really. Honestly, since they started doing more of the favorites in Aliens and Predators, I've been kind of diving in. I already got my order set for a few Predators, and I already got my order set for a few Lord of the Rings. It's coming. Uh, Joker, Batman, DC, it's coming. Um, obviously, it's the details are what really grabs me. The details are immaculate. It's freaking awesome. Um, we had statue companies a long time ago, like Cool Props and Sideshow doing some stuff, but I think that wasn't the best. It was more cartoonish and more of a artist portrayal on things. This one, these, they just straight look like real-ass aliens. That's in 1-4 scale coming out of the... Statue life itself. Today we're going to be looking at the big uh, Alien Warrior deluxe version. Now this is the when when Prime One goes deluxe, it's pretty deluxe. You get the you get the lettuce, you get the tomato, you get the pickles, not just the ketchup, but the mustard and the honey Dijon sauce that everybody knows and loves. I'm just kidding. I don't like honey Dijon. It's I don't even like mustard. The only time I like mustard is when it's on a hot dog. Sorry. Not sorry. I like... No, wait. Actually, I, I when I'm eating a hot dog, I only go ketchup, sauerkraut. That's it. A warm bun. Not, don't even toast my bun, please. And I don't even like my hot dog fried. I like it boiled to warmth. Nice, hot, juicy hot dog. Sorry. Ketchup, that little squiggly line. Sprinkle dazzle, a little bit of... um. Sauerkraut on it. Uh, you know that Sabret sauerkraut. That, that real nice Sabret sauerkraut. Not that any crap. The New York style hot dog, you know? Perfect. Lightly warmed buns. Mm. Anyway, we're looking at the Prime 1 Deluxe Alien Warrior statue, which I completely loved their dog alien. And if I had the chance, I would have ordered the dog alien. I really would have. I, I want that statue very badly. But I'm not going to pay aftermarket prices. That's just me. I'm a retail whore. That's how I do it. Um, I, I'm a retail whore. I buy from the store. <laughs> Marcos is giving y'all 5% off. Obviously, with my coupon code EZCZ. This price is your shipped price. So I know Prime 1, you're going to be like, oh, that's cheaper. No, because they didn't add in taxes or shipping. Add that in and you're way above this. And then with my 5% off code, you're below it. And you win on CollectorZone.com. Um, their shipping has gone up skyrocketed honestly it's kind of sad because of uh the pandemic i guess some something going on this shipping process is shippity shippity ship so with the price being that i'm gonna say with prime one pieces i'm not gonna talk about price too much because damn it it's just worth it at the stuff and rate you're getting this at man it's 26 inches tall i mean that thing is like massive and this, it's a big hunk of piece of art that's articulously done in so many ways. It's just amazing. Now, release date is um, uh, holiday 2021, so it's soon. Uh, I, I don't, I'm getting hit by these statues. I don't even know like when or where they're coming from. I really like the dog alien because, well, this Warrior Deluxe comes with a switch out. Um, uh, we'll go over that later. But the dog alien is one of my favorites because of the clear dome and the colors and the variations of them. I just absolutely loved the dog alien. And I would have had it if I would have caught on to it soon enough. But I can't. I can't. I, I just I missed it. It's too bad. So it does have swap out uh, mouthpieces, the grabbing mouthpieces. Um, as you can see here, more of that swap out heads and stuff like that. Very beautiful. I mean, look at all this that you come with. <laughs> Oh, it, very nice everything about this it comes with a extra stand to display and you know i love that because well you can't see it there is a mythos asajj ventress up there right and it comes with an extra head portrait awesome beautiful portrait right i would love to display it but i can't there's nowhere to put it um it's just i just set it at the back you know just there because I don't want it sitting in a box. I want it out so I can just pick it up and look at it sometimes and be like, oh, yeah, that's what I paid for. Beautiful. 
Um, how you doing, Mr. Alien? You're doing all right. It doesn't look like it. But, you know, it's it's just beautiful stuff. Like, look at this display stand they give to you. Because you're paying that type of money, premium money, you're going to get premium stuff. And I like that they're doing that because Hot Toys, on the other hand, gives us a plastic tray and pushes us out the door and says, goodbye now. Bye until next one. Come back and spend more money. At least Prime One gives us what we want. As a collector, as a displayer, as a presenter, you know, I want to have my art displayed like art. This, the, to me, these this, these pieces are art. I mean, this is yeah, you can call it collectibles and toys and whatever, but these pieces are really genuinely art pieces. I mean, look at this one four scale bust. And now let me get to the point of them making it one four scale. A lot of people are saying, hey, I want a one third scale now. And mm, oh, let me cut that because. Like the videos, because if you like these videos, I can tell that you like these Prime 1 statues. Um, I'll do more of them if you guys like the videos and want to see more of the statues. So let me know, let me know down in the uh, comments below. But a lot of people were saying, you know, I want a one-third scale to be my ultimate. And let me tell you, if these things were one-third scale, you wouldn't be able to afford them, number one. Um, I, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to tell you what can't, you can and can't afford. But number two... It's just way too much. I mean, the space that it's going to be taking up. Oh, here's a look at these these amazing eggs. Very nicely done, these worms, I guess. I don't know what you would call them worms that they first originate from and then become little hand grab mouth face huggers. But the space would just be epically large. I mean, you wouldn't be able... I have one one-third scale statue. That takes up a crap ton of space. It's so much space that I don't even know what to do with it because I have more pieces coming in. I have to make room by selling off hot toys and emptying space just to put my Prime 1 pieces. So I never thought I would have gone into Prime 1 like this, um, but just look at this. Beautiful pieces, beautiful pieces, one after another. Um, it's just, you look at this alien, you scream in awe. It's just amazing. Now there's 95 pieces, obviously, uh, 95 pictures, obviously, it, we're not going to go through all of them. We can interchangeable mouth, open mouth, you pull the thing out, and it, it's just a whole package. And and Marcos is lucky enough to get the deluxe ones, and these come with the extra egg, swap out uh, head parts. It's it's really cool. I really love the um, uh, pixelation in their photography. I really love the um, attention to detail when it comes to aliens. They make it glossy, super gloss. That's a, That's an important thing with the alien. And the dog alien had that. Don't even pay attention to the uh, alien itself. There's also a base that acid is eating through. The bases are bar none. I mean, the, these guys really know what they're doing. The bases have been... It looks like the um, uh, space ships that the... Uh, 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 the what do you call them? Wayland... I guess you call them Wayland dudes were on. And it's obviously been taken over by aliens. It's infested. It's looking great. I mean, the art direction with these pieces, the concept designs. Oh, we got a face hugger there? I didn't know we got a face hugger. Oh, that's cool. We got a little vagina mouth implant. I love those them things. I love vaginas. And here we go. These looks like we're, uh, it's going to be seamlined, but I'm not too worried about that because it's going to be the back of the statue. And yeah, these parts got to be taken off because those are likely to break in transit. If you've seen some of the boxes that people get, in transit with shipping from prime one you don't even want to know it looks like they threw it at the ocean picked it back up and then cut it with like their hands because they're evil people i like that we get a face hugger in there but this is a very aggressive stance you have a nice acid attribute telling the story of like, like these are aliens these suckers are dangerous uh wayland uh symbols here and there the base is just epic the egg is massive i mean i'm imagining the egg be at least that big it's a big egg i mean i don't know what to say that's a huge egg and imagine looking at these pictures now you look at them pictures and you see wow it's just super amazing when you're paying two thousand dollars honestly you're gonna want amazing you're not going to be wanting what hot toys did and give us rubbery things in the mouth and now we go to it i like that they they really done this they did justice to aliens silver just perfectly accented now i think it was xm uh they did a one-fourth alien they did a really good depiction 
Um, very nice sculpt and all and everything. I think there's this one third scale and it was massive. It's just massive and overly expensive. Um, for me, that is, but I look at all this beauty going on. That's a lot of art direction and work. This, this floor that you even get a stand for the egg. The floor looks beautiful, let alone the alien. Like, how do you not want something like this? Obviously I'm biased because I'm a fan of aliens, predator, uh, the Fox originated films that Fox had uh, made or whoever made it. I absolutely love it. The tubing going on here. It looks looks very realistic. I love this alien. Now, a little bit of fix would have been the clear dome, but that's not what it is. It's a warrior alien. And I would like to show you the dog alien. I don't think they have it on the site anymore. But let me show you the dog alien. But a lot of pictures, too many pictures to go through. Um nice alien ass it looks like it pegs in right there too a little magnet to type to put in the um uh tail but let me show you the dog all in all if you guys i really highly encourage on the on statues i'm not going to say buy or pass because that's very strong to say i'm going to buy this and i and and i don't end up buy it because these pieces are more high end um what i'm going to say is really it's a buy statue like i would tech i would encourage for alien enthusiasts, buy it. I'm not even an alien enthusiast. I want to call myself an enthusiast, but I love the designs. I not I'm, I don't like the um, movies more so. I like the source material, which, which, which I it's it's fine. It's justifiable. I like the materials here. Well, let me search in some dog. Let me see dog, dog, dog. Up, oh, they still got it. So here's the dog alien. Absolutely love this piece. It's not available. They're not showing the price, Will, is it? But I absolutely loved this piece. I wish I could have got, gotten onto this because look at this, guys. Absolutely perfect depiction. Now, the dog alien wasn't the fav fan favorite of the aliens, but I really do love um, nice ass. Um, I really do love the, the concept of look at this guy. Look at this. Wow. That's like... $400 worth of paint apps in just his neck alone, you know? So that's what I'm trying to tell you guys that this type of paint apps and this type of artwork and this type of sculpture and these things aren't even plastic. They're polystone. So with that being said, that's a lot of material and work you're getting for that price. It's high and expensive from the, from the frontal view. But when you dig in deep, I mean, this alone, I would pay $400 like, I'm not going to pay someone because I can do it myself. But, like, $400 for a piece like this, just the neck app, paint apps. I, I would say, yeah, that's what somebody would charge uh, for something like that. Now, it, it, see, they came with the um, uh, little display stands as well. Um, beautiful display stand. I wish. Uh. Sorry. You knew it was coming. But these pieces do come with massive stands. And that's the thing about space I was talking about. These things get any bigger, and they're killer. Just look at that menace. Man, I really wish I would have gra grabbed onto this. But, oh well. It happens. You miss some stuff, and then you wait for the next one. It's fine. And these pieces are more like one and done. I've never seen a reissue done besides the Snyder Cut Superman. Which, that wasn't really a reissue. It was a repaint. Um, so I've never seen them redone. So once these pieces are gone, they're not like hot toys where they come up all of a sudden and just say, oops, found one in the back. <laughs> About 500 of them. We're going to re it's a reissue. So that's pretty cool. Love what they did here. It's a buy. If you want to be, um, my lover, it's a very nice, very nicely done statue. Like I said, Marcos can hit you up with the payment plans. If you can't, really get a dive fully into this he does have payment plans so use my five percent off code easy cz and it's a win-win that's how i get my statues honestly so that's that's just me i mean i get my statues like that you get your statues like that we all eat candy and invite kids into our white vans i'm gonna see you guys later have a good day make sure you like the videos to make sure i know you guys like it goodbye <laughs>